As you guys know, on the channel, we like to dive into the story of Call of Duty, and today is absolutely no exceptions. And I was actually surprised when I started to put this video together that I haven't already made one about this. And that is, of course, Atlas Corporation. Now, if you don't know what that is, let's start out by talking about why we are talking about this now. You see, recently something was added into Modern Warfare 3, or at least will be added soon with Season 3 Reloaded, which is a new weapon called the BAL-27. Now, this was a weapon in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but if we look on the side of the weapon in Modern Warfare 3, it clearly states Atlas Corporation. Now, if you don't know what they are in Advanced Warfare, they were this giant group that made a bunch of war technology. On top of that, had a giant group of PMCs and was run by someone by the name of Jonathan Irons. And today, I wanted to make a video going over that story of Atlas Corporation. But by the end of the video, I also want to discuss whether or not it's actually possible for the Atlas Corporation to now be a part of modern warfare. And if so, how? And if not, how could it be incorporated? Because clearly they are doing so in one way or another. But without further ado, this is the full story of Atlas Corporation. So Atlas Corporation was founded in February of 2035 by someone by the name of Jonathan Irons. At this point, Atlas Corporation just started investing in bioengineering and research companies. And by June of the year 2039, Atlas has successfully developed and patented the exoskeletons for military use. These are what we see in advanced warfare, what all the kind of operators actually wear, get around with, jump extra high and are extra strong, all because of these. In the year 2040, they actually successfully field tested and started printing and using 3D printed weapons and ammunition. I want you to keep that one in mind because we're going to come back to that one later. In February of 2044, they made another patent for hover technology for use in weapons and vehicles and started selling this to various different governments. And by 2045, they actually signed the largest ever weapons contract with the US military. Now, at this point, Atlas Corporation soon became very well known for acting after devastating and catastrophic events, assisting various agencies and government that they chose. For example, Atlas entered Baghdad after the second Gulf War in the year 2047 and in five years completely repaired and rebuilt the city, something the U.S. government couldn't do for over 50 years. But things started to take a turn in May of 2050 because Atlas started to switch from working with governments and other militaries to now running their own army, a private military company also going by the name of Atlas Corporation. But people weren't worried yet because Atlas was the good guys. And in fact, you may not know this, Atlas actually had their very own YouTube channel. And at the time before the release of Advanced Warfare, put out this recruitment video. There are some days we never forget. Moments burned into our memory until the day we die. Where were you the day everything changed? Four years ago, one man tried to destroy our way of life. One man tried to throw the world into darkness. It felt like we could never find our way back. But we did. Together. When you were vulnerable, we gave you our strength. When you were sick, we delivered you the cure. When there was chaos, we brought you order. Stability. Safety a chance to start again. Who are we? We're the way forward. Now, our story of advanced warfare picks up in the year 2054 after Atlas Corporation has created their group of PMCs. And we play as someone by the name of Jack Mitchell. Now, Jack Mitchell witnesses Will Irons, Jonathan Irons' son, perish in North Korea. Now, at this time, Jack Mitchell loses his hand, but Jonathan Irons steps in and first of all, presses F to pay respects. But after that, asks Jack Mitchell to join him he can repair his hand and he can fight alongside Atlas Corporation. And throughout the first large majority of advanced warfare, Atlas Corporation continue to be the good guys, helping in many different locations from Nigeria to Detroit and several different areas across the world. But at this point, Atlas Corporation actually has a seat at the UN. And all of a sudden, when Jonathan Irons is set to make a speech at the UN, everything changes. I am honored 
to be the first CEO of a private corporation to become a member of the United Nations Security Council. Unfortunately, my appearance today has been clouded by a flurry of speculation that my company is developing a weapon of mass destruction which would be capable of targeting specific ethnic groups. I want to address these allegations head on. Are we developing such a weapon? No, we are not. Because we've already developed it. But with all due respect, the United Nations is a relic from a different time when nations were unique in their ability to solve the world's problems. But that just isn't the case anymore, primarily because you have outsourced the job to me. I have sent people to die in your wars. So I feel uniquely qualified to tell you, your wars don't work. <laughs> which is why my priorities have changed from profits to policy, because politicians don't know how to solve problems, but I do. So let's be clear. I am here to solve the world's problems, and I believe the world's problems begin with you. So needless to say, after Jonathan Iron's son's death, he loses it a little, but his goal is to create something by the name of Utopia, a perfect world essentially run by him because he believes that he can do everything right. And throughout the rest of the game, our goal is to stop Jonathan Irons and specifically stop Atlas Corporation. And really, there's really no point in going into the nitty gritty on how we do it, but by the very end of the game, this happens. Mitchell, pull me up. Not letting go, you've got to pull me up! There's only two choices. You either pull me up, or this whole building goes down and we go down with it. Mitchell! What are you doing? What are you doing? Mitchell! I gave you that arm! Mitchell! I gave you a second chance! So needless to say, Jonathan Irons is dead and Atlas Corporation is no more and thus marks the end of Atlas Corp. And I believe the year for that was in 2061. So essentially, Atlas Corp spans from the year 2035 to 2061. Now, as we know, we see Atlas Corporation in Modern Warfare 3. And with that, it is the year 2024, which makes zero sense whatsoever. So what this tells us is that the Atlas Corporation that we know from Advanced Warfare is actually not necessarily the same Atlas Corporation that we see in Modern Warfare 3. However, Atlas Corp is there, which means there is now a different timeline for Atlas Corporation. Now, there could be another option because in Call of Duty Mobile, Atlas Corporation is a part of that story, and that starts out in the year 2021. In fact, there's a whole set of comics and a whole bunch of other stories that could potentially be a part of that. But just to keep in mind, the Call of Duty Mobile comics are a completely separate story from that of which we see in the Modern Warfare and the Black Ops universe. So just to note, it started out then. So I think they're doing a similar kind of thing with Atlas Corporation within Modern Warfare 3 and this Call of Duty cinematic universe that we know. Now, my favorite part of the video, let's get into the theories here, because we know Atlas Corporation is now in the Modern Warfare universe. The question is, to what extent? Well, remember how we talk about 3D printed weapons? Well, in Modern Warfare, we're not quite at the point of having hovercrafts and exosuits and things along those lines, but what we do have is 3D printed weapons. These were introduced at the end of Modern Warfare 2, where we see the 3D printed pistol on the airplane, teasing the return of Makarov. However, now, in Modern Warfare 3, we have all of these aftermarket parts that we presume are indeed 3D printed weapons, all of them labeled with the name Jack Kits, which is J-A-K. 
Now, originally, I thought that Jack was the weapon manufacturer themselves, and it very well still could be. But there's another option. What if the Jack conversion kits are 3D printed weapons created by Atlas Corporation, but go under the name Jack? Now, I tried to figure out what the J.A.K. actually stood for because it is all in capitals in game, but I actually couldn't find anything. So one, it's a manufacturer in and of itself or these are being created by Atlas Corporation and history is set to repeat itself. Again, that can't be confirmed. It is just an idea, but I would be very curious to hear what you guys have to say and let me know down in the comments below. But essentially, that summarizes the full story of Atlas Corporation. If you enjoyed the video and like these type of story videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications on, all of that good jazz. And remember, if you don't hit that like button, I believe the world's problems begin with you. We are, we are reaching for